yesterday. We are gonna continue the playthrough. We are gonna continue. Check to make sure my mic is... Is my thing working? how it turns down the moment I go into options. Oh my god, I played like three hours yesterday. Holy shit. Okay. So. Checking to make sure my cord is plugged in for my controller, since my controller is low on battery. <laughs> so, it, is it died halfway through and I don't have enough time to get not nom by a Reaper or a Sand Shark? I'm probably gonna cry in my sleep. That'd be really sad if I died. <laughs> And it's charging. All right. We're in. We're in. All right. Pause for just a second. I need to clear out notifications on my device. We're good to go. Because <laughs> I wanted to clear out any notifications I had before I got bothered. Oh my god, they're dead. <laughs> okay, so. Remind myself. Don't use propulsion cannon to kill peepers. <laughs> oh, that's a statement I never think I'd say. Tell myself. Don't use propulsion cannon to kill peepers. It doesn't make it better. It makes it so you can't cook them. the peepers down there. 
Alright, this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be checking whatever here it is. Seamoth. Seamoth sonar. Okay, we need more magnetite. That's the thing we need right now. Magnetite. Which would require magnetite, of course. <laughs> Which would require we need magnetite. What's the crafting recipe for magnetite? <laughs> Fuck. I just... I just had a stroke there. And I... It is a very bad stroke that I just had there. God damn. Okay, that's enough for a room. Okay. That's four more titanium, three more titanium. Looking for this. Two more titanium, which we don't have, so we gotta go out and do some stuff. There we go. Quick and easy titanium. We just need one for now. I think we need one. One will give me two. Two gets to me two more. We needed two for the hatch. Yep. So that gives the extra two that we needed for the hatch. Wee! There we go. We're just gonna leave that running. Titanium is complete, I'm aware. So we need one quartz for that, two copper, two copper, one gold, mm. what is that, a table coral, two table coral, and then we need copper, 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 alright, two copper, yep. Do I not have any copper? He. <laughs> okay. Um, copper. Where are we gonna Where are we gonna get that easily? The two, probably. <laughs> so let's just swim out. This is why I need to do my um, normal runs. What I'll normally do is like just set up a scanner room, then scan for outcrops, and then just do that for the next hour. <laughs> Which is the most boring thing ever, but once you start getting crafting, and it's literally crafting towards the end of the game. It's kind of needed. Especially of how much fun I start having when I go building. Which is one of my- it's one of my dumbest- the dumb thing that I like about this game. Building. But we're gonna be. Be <sighs> serious. Can I pick up? I can pick up bladderfish. There's that one. God. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. There's that one. That's... Come on, is there any... Cool. Nom. Nom. Okay. Where is... There we go. Up here. That was not an outcrop. Another titanium. That's not what I need. I need... A limestone outcrop. It's so hard to spot these, especially when you don't have like a scanner room. Because a scanner room, you can just go, oh, I want this. And then I can mark it on my map and it will show up on my HUD. And I can just grab like a hundred of them and not have to worry about it. 
doing this by eye is so hard to do. Oh god. Don't know what that um, thing's gonna attack me. Come on. Is there any? Oh, there's another. There's one. No! <laughs> That looks like one. I need one more. One more, one more. There we, there we go, there we go. <laughs> one more. God. God damn it. One more, one more. Come on, one more. Where, where, where is another one? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, that was creep by. I got scared by creep mine. God, it's dark. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Six fluid intake immediately. Oh, shit. Whoa. Seek fluid intake immediately. If I die, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. And no, I can't just eat bladder fish straight up. Even if they give water as a crafting recipe, I can't eat them straight up. Cause it, cause literally if I try to do that, it will get rid of more water and I'll just die faster. Funny enough. I think if it was a fish I gave water, like as a crafting recipe, you could eat it straight up and you get like barely any water. But you'd still get water. Also just me. Come on, come on, water. Vital signs the thing about this is that I really need my water filtration machine. Water filtration machine, I could just sit there and come back to the base with a lot of water. And not have to do shit, basically. But let's get the, um, Plutus. Oh, it's the Pluter. I, I like Plutus. We're, we're, we're gonna, okay, no, we're gonna name it Plutus now. Plutus. Because it's funny. Okay, and then we just assign a quick slot. Well, we'll do, we'll do it outside. Welcome Whoa! That's like a perfect um, drop right there. Jesus. I couldn't, I couldn't have placed that moon pool better, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna be heading towards... Motherfucker right there. Stranded near a cave system. Because stranded near a cave system, he's next to Seamoth Bay. Seamoth Bay means he's next to the... Here's the entrance to the, um, crab snake thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set up the scanner room right on top of it. So let's just set up a multi-purpose room right here. Then we can set up Oh 
Let me do that. There we go. There we go. Fuck. Okay. And then we have this. I forgot there's no power. Oxygen production offline. The thing about this is that we don't have. Sorry about the crackle. We don't have enough for the uh, bio thing, bio reactor. We need another titanium, a wiring kit, and a. Laser. Let's see if we can get back at base. Once we have all that, we can head down into the mushroom cave, head to the back to the Degasi habitat. I'm gonna be bringing my stasis rifle with me. And then we can set that all up there. I'm taking the stasis rifle just in case because I don't wanna get eaten. Also, yes, hi, hi Reef back. I can see you in the background. Welcome aboard, Captain. We need two silver. There's two silver. We need a wiring kit. <laughs> That's such a good theme in the background, though. Yeah, and I only have like one magnetite. So there's not much going in here. Titanium, 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 titanium. Thing I start to hate about this game. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency. Once you get to this, once you get to a later point in the game, it's just titanium, titanium. You never have enough titanium. everything costs titanium and towards the end of the game it's just like oh yeah you're gonna need like five titanium bars which is 50 titanium which is so annoying just give me like Grab some of these. Did they let me? Oh, I could just take that out of my... Oh, my inventory's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Shit. titanium, uh, not titanium, magnetite and everything all set up, I can, um, get my sonar and then we can head to, um, Captain Keen's, uh, thing, life pod. Captain Keen, no, second commander Keen. His name is stupid. Speak of the devil, that is probably a warmer thing, if I, if I recall. Where's the um, guys who crashed next to the Aurora? Power restored. All primary systems online. Scanner room range. Okay, I brought extra stuff, as you can see, so I can do this. Knowing me, I'm gonna stockpile stuff. 
while we're down there. We're just gonna grab a whole bunch of stuff. So it can last a little while. And I'm gonna head back to base, check that radio, grab my stasis rifle, and then grab the gold and the silver to get that speed upgrade. Because you can only go up to a range of three in the um, scanner room, and there's four slots. At least I never saw a point for the fourth one, didn't even get that far of an upgrade. We, we can always try it out differently. I always normally did three and then a speed. So... This is Life Pod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation Aurora. device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. corrupted. Yep. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. I thought it was either Aurora dudes or it's the worker message. It's the Aurora fuckers. I thought so. At least I was right about that. Okay, we really need to start getting the alien containment unit as well. Probably we might get that later today. Later this stream. That's hope that's hopefully a plan. I just want this well here. So we're just grab what I'm grabbing right now is just some extra water. Bladderfish, bladderfish, bladderfish. Because bladderfish is like the easiest water source right now. Even if water filtration machine is good, it's kind of slow, and if you do multiple of them, it takes a lot of power, which can be a pain. So it's why normally I don't, I usually use one, and then I have a containment storage of just bladder fish. Alien habitat, so they can just make more. <laughs> and just have an infinite supply of water right there. I can just craft. in this right now. Most of the batteries are charging. Okay. Alright, Plutus. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're gonna be scanning for magnetite. Oh wait. I just realized something. Gold and silver. God! My memory sucks sometimes. Gold. That's diamonds. I don't need diamonds. There's another magnet I am taking. We can grab some on the way. No silver. That's why I need the fucking scanner room. Makes hoarding things a lot easier. Roadkill. Also, the only thing about going into the um, mu uh, mushroom cave 
is this crab snakes. Besides them wanting to munch my face, they also want to munch my sea moss face. That's cold. Which can it's why I'm also bringing the stasis rifle. Because if any of them show up, I can just literally kill them if they show up. Which is mean, but... I preferably not want to lose my seam off. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Lead, 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 lead. Give me silver. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Alright, that should be top of the cave mostly. Alright. Cave sulfur it is not deep enough. What will we do this old fashioned way? Just grab whatever you see. Take out the gun. Time to go get that Degasi habitat. And I want my water filtration machine. Let's go. Also, I hate- oh, I hate going through the tunnel because it does that. Okay. Down we go into the depths of the unknown. Down into the depths of the mushroom cave. where I like to get lost. No, last night we got, um... No, we're still missing the engine parts, but we did get hole and bridge. And we have one piece of the engine, which means we just need two more engine in order to finish the Cyclops. Right now, I'm going after the Degasi habitat at the back of the mushroom cave because I really want my water filtration machine. But right now, it's just literally avoiding any crap snakes. <laughs> Like yelling. I know, I know. What did I hit? I don't like being down here. I don't, I don't like being down here. It's freaky. I don't like it. not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> oh no. I have never personally done that. Because I know what happen happens if I do that. So I haven't really like tested my fate. <laughs> I mean, I did... Uh, I mean, I've, like, glanced over when I was passing with a sea moth before. That's because I was curious to see if there was, like, a crap snake egg in there. Because I know that's, like, the big mushrooms are the only places they'll spawn. Is that the... Is that the Degasi base right there? No, that's... 
the platforms. That should be it right there, though. Yep. Okay, we're here. I have a stasis rifle, so if any of these crab snakes try anything, I can blow them sky high. Because I literally don't trust them. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Integrate a new PDA data. Greatly decreased. Thanks, PDA. You gotta put two voice lines over each other. Integrating new PDA data. I thought it might get claustrophobic Oops. living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes are twice the snakes I've ever had in that compartment. Certainly, acquired. it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, Jesus. well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit yeah. gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Oh, Father uh, approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not even mood. proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way. Integrate new PDA data. Testing theories. Shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the sea then, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which is the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Ow, 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 ow. Signal location uploaded to PDA. He's trying to be very PDA careful data. around these jellyfish and not. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus Christ! God damn! Stupid ass! <sighs> that scared the hell out of me! The fucking crab snake tail that whipped into my fucking screen. Remind me to give myself a heart attack. God damn. <laughs> Jumped out of my bloody skin right there. This is what I want to... Integrating new PDA data. They're lucky enough this is everything down here. Yeah, there's no, um, there's no egg in there. <laughs> and yeah, th that's accurate, though. Back in the old days, it wasn't that... Did you know that there was, a like, a pit in the old days? Like, a pit to hell? Literally, there was just a straight-ass drop behind the aurora, straight to the bottom where the inactive lava zone was, before it was the inactive lava zone. Just the- just imagine that. A straight pit down there where just a sea leviathan comes out and just drags it down. You know what would make this area worse? If there were like warpers. 
be the end of all times. Everyone's dying. <laughs> SCP-106. That just seems like a horrible idea. Look at it and you die. Like, what? That seems like a horrible idea waiting to happen. <laughs> I forgot their ceiling was a thing. I was hoping to see if I could spot a crab snake egg. But I hit the ceiling instead. Hopefully, once I get into the inactive lava zone, into the lava castle, fucking McRoar's sea leviathan doesn't want to come up straight to the doorway and jump scare me as I'm exiting. I look down for like one. <laughs> oh yeah, the ca oh, the character model. Yeah, from what I from what I recall um like game-wise when they're making things, they use that as a size reference just to get everything right and see how it will be. So I think in that in that version it just forgot to get rid of the model, which is funny. Oh, hi. The crab snake said hi. Where's the scanner rooms? I know they're right above one of the exits. Jesus. Crab snakes, fuck off. There was one time I think I got stuck down here for like 30 minutes because I couldn't remember where the exit was. Suckiest day of my life. At least we got a good section, a little bit of magnetite. I'd like more, but there's nothing I can really do. But, what I want to do is I want to make the sonar first before I do anything else. S at least the um C the CMOF sonar. Because once I make the CMOF sonar, I can head to Officer Key since I don't like going down there without a sonar. A little too deep for my liking. Upgrade the range. At least that marks some areas and it's extended it even further. I think that's the blood kelp right there. Yeah, that would be straight to the blood kelp. It's like, where is that? Depending on where I am. Yeah, blood kelp. Alright, let's go make that seam off sonar and then we can head Officer Keen. Slowly getting somewhere. Slowly getting somewhere.
I have... What? I have not done number one. Surprisingly. I have done number two. I have not done number three. Well, te I've technically done number three. I did the um, launch torpedoes from the um, the magnetite torpedoes so you can launch things with in the seam off and launched the um, sand shark, not sand sharks, bone sharks to literal um, heaven because they were bothering me. And uh, yeah, I've done number three. I haven't done number one before though. Very surprising on my end. You know what? I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna lose my shit this game. It wants another goddamn copper. Am I allowed to punch a game? I need more copper. God damn it. Copper ore, copper ore, copper ore. You never have a fucking up. Yeah, no, there's some people, I think, in Subnautica who build, like, these really intricate bases. Like, they'll build, like, these really big and spacious bases with all of these rooms. And it's usually really pretty, but I have a funny habit of not doing that. Literally one of my favorite things to do, garden. Plants. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, no, the funniest thing is one of my... Thanks, PDA. One of my favorite things to do is, um... Build... That's, that's behind me, Aurora, right there. Is build, like, just a giant garden. And I'm tempted. I'm really tempted. I never fully did this at one point. I really want to, um, get a pet. And not like a, um... Not like one of the cuttlefish. I've, I've done the cuttlefish before. I've, I've gotten like three cuttlefish in my, one of my playthroughs. I want to, um, do, like, a stalker. That's gonna nip me in the ass every time I leave the base, but it's gonna be fun. That means I need a habitat, though, and then to hatch a stalker egg, because... <laughs> OW! Oh, it's the, it's the fucking plant. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna build a scanner room. Might be lazy, but I kind of just want to build one right now. At the base, specifically. Just so I don't have to go everywhere for shit. No, I don't have to leave far. Leave far, yes. Go far. <laughs> There are mods that let you do that, 
and I've seen them, and I just, I can't imagine someone doing that. The literal torture Vital signs stabilizing. that guy wants to do to himself. Like, yes, spawn yourself in the... I just, I just can't imagine that. I mean, Dead Zone not that bad. There's a one dude who managed to beat Subnautica, um, waterless. Are you sure? Whatever. Was it? No, isn't that the dunes, though? Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you sure whatever you are doing is worth it? If I recall correctly, that's what that line is. I. And I know entering an ecological dead zone. I had I had one of my um, I had someone I knew like boat one direction for me and then he ran straight into the ecological dead zone and I was yelling at him to turn around. There's this one guy I watched that didn't know what the ecological dead zone was and he went there. <laughs> there's like a whole entire there's a Reddit string for this. You can pull up the, um, thing. He literally got the ecological dead zone message, goes, Ooh, what's this? Pulls up the PDA to, like, look at the message. And you hear the music of the Cyclops, like, getting attacked. And then everything's going up in flames, and he's panicking afterwards. Best thing ever. It's like watching pe it's watching people regret their decisions like that is like the funniest thing. At least in my opinion. What the code even be for, though, now, you, now that you mention that? The, um, the Aurora. Just, just one of the locked doors and you never get the code for. There you go, there's your code. I know it's coming if I keep going this way, and I don't want to go that way. I've planted my base here before, on I think like a subsequent playthrough. And... Oh god. There was a Leviathan... I think it was a Reaper Leviathan that... Um, I think it locked onto me a little too far, and it followed me into the red grass, and basically camped outside my base for the rest of the playthrough. Wasn't- wasn't fun. Cause every time I try to swing my cyclops around it'd be right there. Right there being a dick. It's just like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna traumatize you every time I, you come out of your base. that's enough line props for now. I also don't want to scan too far over here because I know I will start following it to the back of the ship.
and I, I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> that I'm gonna regret my decision really fast if I do that. Okay. So we don't have. Let's check the sonar. Sonar upgrade. Copper wire and two magnetite. Wonder how many how many time capsule do you think we're gonna get once we get over to the uh, Officer Keen's area? Because there's normally normally at least one. Because there's a lot of spawns over in that area. My last playthrough had six, so I'm 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 trying to make a guess on how many we're gonna find. I'm gonna bet at least two to a max of three. At least that's my guess. <laughs> the moment a reaper comes up behind you. Y you never saw it. Vital signs stabilizing. came for that ass and you never saw it coming. Okay. All right. Where's the ladder? Just to go up here. Okay, nope, we have to go to Officer Keen's area before we can start my precious water filtration machine. I have words. I have a lot of words I could say, and none of them are nice. <laughs> I like, cause like, I have a lot of words, a lot of words I could say. A lot of them are mean. But none of them I want to say out loud. Literally everything. Alright. Welcome aboard Captain Systems Online. That's the Degasi. That's the hot that's the um second officer. Let's go. Now I hate going out here for a bloody good reason. I just don't like the fact that it goes really deep. Which is Subnautica in the first place, but... Let me cook... Flassophobia. <laughs> At least give me a pass on that. 
And yes, I know, I'm going around in a really stupid way. I could have just, you know, gone straight. But... We're gonna be weird and we're not gonna do that. At least now I have my 300 upgrade, so I can literally go down here now. Oh, I don't like doing this. It's terrifying doing this. I hate doing this. Cause there's literally pitch black. Once it turns nighttime, it starts getting pitch black, and this shit sucks. There's literally jack you can see. Stop with the fucking audio spikes. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. If I hear a reaper, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's my mood for this. If I hear a reaper, I'm gonna... The audio is not helping. You... This game is really good at atmosphere, and I don't... I. It, it's one of the best I've ever felt when it comes to atmosphere. And it does a damn good job at making you feel terrified. Oh, there's a there's a fish in here. Come here, buddy. I'll get you out of here. Come on. Data box. New blueprint acquired. Literally nothing in there. And that will go literally nowhere. So just slowly search about. Yeah, more eerie than scary, but it's really good with making you feel like there's something watching you. It's really good at that. Which I gotta I gotta applaud it for. thermal plant. That's literally energy set for my base forever. Oh wait, there's a thing there. What is this? Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. I have no idea what that was. That was something I've already gotten. Torpedo arm. I can't check what it was. Damn. Biodiversity is extremely low. It's probably due to the fact that this is right under the floating island. Let me just light that up. Once we open this door, we gotta go to the sea maw. At least once we get this, we're probably gonna be able to um, get the upgrade for the. Uh, once we get to Captain Keen's thing, we'll be able to. Um, what you call? Get the uh, upgrade for the air tank. Oop. Failing to go for a door. What 
reinforced ice. New blueprint acquired. Sweet. There's another torpedo arm thing right there. Quit hitting the sea maw. Alright, that's torpedo arm done. That's torpedo arm and formal plant all done. Let's just check if there's anything else. We've gotten into both wrecks. So, no, there shouldn't be anything else here. Alright. I'm gonna turn the light off and just scout about. Because I know f um, time capsules like the spawn. Yep, there's one. We got one! My bet was at least two or three. I know they like to spawn here. There we go. What do we got? Woo! Oh, okay. On this planet, there are dangerous giants lurking in the deep, but there are also small, cute critters. You must enjoy the good things, because if you look harder, you may find long-lasting. Damn, wire and kick copper wire. That was some pretty good. That was some pretty good stuff. Thank you, dude. Oh, cuttlefish. Oh, that's adorable. That's at least one time capsule. I'm wondering if there's more, but don't get our hopes high. Okay, it's just that. Cuttle cuttlefish are so cute. Cuddle yeah, cuttlefish are adorable. Alright. While we're here, we're definitely going to be grabbing some rubies. Is that another time capsule? No, it's just an egg. Oh, it's lithium. Do we already have this? Yep. Just want to make sure. Integrating new PDA data. Isn't there a PDA? Isn't there a um information thing around here? I can remember. I think he had like a um data box. Unless I'm rem misremembering. Oh, it's in the thing. I'm dumb. Never mind. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. <laughs> all the all the um critters. We need rubies. This is why I grabbed that gel sack when we were back at the island. Because at least now we can literally, we can just grab the rubies from here and we have already have the arrow, the gel sacks back at home. Okay, let's keep going this way. Have fun. Have a good night. I ran into something. <laughs> just slow. I'm literally just like inching about. <laughs> Come aboard.
aboard, Captain. Yeah, this is literally like fucking uncomfy. God. Why am I torturing myself? This is my question. Why am I doing this? Them. <laughs> but no, 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 shit, you did, you, did. when you're swimming normally, it's kind of hard to avoid, but once you get the sea, sea glide, it's really easy. I'll, I'll read that time capsule in a second. Oh god. I I got a toy. 
Oh. <laughs> that guy must have been terrified. <laughs> oh, he got a fucking reaper as his pure screen. Yeah, just, um, once you attract them, just swim the opposite direction away from them. You, sh you might take a little bit of damage, but at least you're not, um, being full force into the blast. Yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> I I did it as well. It it's painful, especially when you don't get the radiation suit quickly. Oh no! <laughs> I spawn next to the back of the Aurora, which is where Reapers like to hang out. So I I can understand where you're coming from there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the one right next to the back of the Aurora. Literally, I have to cross the, um, red grass and... <laughs> yeah, I, I, ha I got the one right there next to the heat bed. Good spot for a base energy-wise, but it's awful when it comes to Reapers. Because literally, if I just swim right over that red grass, I'm right at the back of the Aurora. Stop it, Reef Backs. You're not helping me right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that sucks. Right on the radiation zone. Yeah, I'm already spawned really close to the radiation zone, being right on the edge. It's just painful. You know, remind me to. This game gives me P. No wonder this game gives me PTSD. Um. Sandstone chunks. Just, um. You know those, um, chunks that you get in the red grass area that look different from limestone? Those can give you lead. You can also find them in the kelp forest at the lower parts. They also give you gold and silver, too. Oh, if I turn the light off... Oh my god, no. No that's horrible. That that's horrible. Oh, <laughs> uh, in the north area next to the cliffs, there if it's next to the mountains, you're also going to be dealing with reapers if you're close to the um gun island. Too. Dude, I... Blood kelp? Personally? I have never gone into blood kelp. I have never stepped foot into the blood kelp unless I had to, which I have never had to. <laughs> okay, though, no, I... <laughs> I saw it, and I didn't go into it. I wanted the um, time capsule right on the edge. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still in the sparse reef, technically. 
I just wanted the time capsule I was not go- You were gonna have to drag me by my ankles to go into that blood kelp. Ain't no way in living hell I'm willingly diving my, my body into that place. Unless I had a death wish. Which I don't have a death wish. The only way I avoid the blood kelp to go down to later game is going- Thanks, Reefback. Is going through the Degasi habitat. Right there. Is one of the exits to the later game. Easy way to avoid going to the blood kelp at all. You still have to go in there at some point. To get the, um, blood oil. But I usually go for the one for the mushroom forest. At least that one, you don't have to go, like, 300 meters down. <laughs> You're welcome. There, there's your ticket to avoid the blood kelp zone. I, I hate going down there. The crab snake cave. Um. I'd say if you're going down there, you'd want to seam off first, and have the upgrade. The, um, the Gossy Habitat is too far back unless you use oxygen pipes for that oxygen pump. It's too far back. You drown before you make it. Yeah, you're... <laughs> It's way too far back there. You're gonna drown before you make it that far into there. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Honestly, if you're going for um, seam off, just a quick seam off, go to um, what is it? Life Pod 17. There's that um, seam off bay right next to that. Um, Life Pod. It'll give you all the seam off fragments. And then there should be a um, mushroom forest nearby that actually gives you, um, yeah. It'll give you the moon pool fragments next to that mushroom forest. And there's the vehicle upgrade station to upgrade that seam off near there too, for a wreck. Yeah, all of them. You only need three parts. And there's, and seam off stuff spawns in the red grass too. So if you don't have enough from the wreck, you can just find some around. What is this? I just got- I got a toy. What is this? I've, I've never seen this before. Oh, oh my god, it's cute! Hello? What is this? Oh, it's cute. Yeah, for the sea moth, no. Just had to, um... For the Seamoth, no. Cyclops, you might need to, but Seamoth, no. <laughs> what, for like this. for the Seamoth? Or the toy? <laughs> Fights Bayfish are running the toy. I don't think so. Oh, you should hear the rare voice line from the um, Cyclops. It has like a 5% chance to go, you are the best captain, I am not squidding. And the toy, I don't think it can go in the, in the um, thing. I don't think so. Wish it could. That'd be awesome. Okay. Titanium. Oh, uh, I don't like how my scanner room can see the edge of the Aurora crash zone right there. That's that that's not nice. That's not nice. Um,
for all to see. I like putting um, the Keep Calm Kitty poster and smack it right on the windshield. So every time you look to your right, you just see the Keep Calm Kitty poster just right there staring at you as you're driving. Vital signs stabilizing. <laughs> hey, at least you don't have to do much. Yeah, no, it turns out you can put those um, posters, like, on the window for some reason. Oh, Reapers. Literally, what I'm doing is I'm avoiding the Aurora bef until I get the Cyclops. I don't want to deal with Reapers. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, no, those things will bully you until the um, Cyclops blows up. <laughs> Luckily enough, I get, um... Ow! Okay, physically, if, if I have a question about this game... This is my physical question to people who play this game. How are you not scared? At some point, there's gotta be some point where you're scared of something. Like, you can't- there's no way. Yeah, no, I have Philosophobia, and I'm still playing this game, and I'm regret- I- I sometimes regret every second. Oh, that- that's smart. I- Honest- honest to god, I had my sibling drive me to the, um, floater island. Oh no. around that that's every philosophobia person's nightmare the, just surrounded by that's just a horrifying thought some caves I'm fine with like oh god you <laughs> Oh no, you live sh The deep- the, um, Deep Grand Reef is horrible. On so many levels. What- what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> all the- all the metal salvage. I'm just gonna click that off. I know the 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 drop off in the Deep Grand Reef. The Deep Grand Reef, especially when you're doing those drop offs. Oh, I no. the multiplayer mod. That's because I am not a PC player. I am a PlayStation player. So I really can't get mods for this game. So I'm playing it base vanilla, nothing else.
Yeah, no. Multiplayer mod, from what I know, can have stuff disappear. You can run other players over. <laughs> Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hopefully it works smoothly, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know why they disappear. Or teleport. Okay, the fling out of the map one's funny, though. It's almost as bad as um, that one glitch that happens in Subnautica. If you get caught on your Cyclops door, like the one before the uh, main chamber, you can actually be flung out of the Cyclops. Just be flung straight out of the Cyclops and then straight into the void. <laughs> yeah, during Eagle One. I saw a clip of that and the guy was terrified and he didn't know what to do with himself. Vital signs stabilizing. Honestly, if that happened to me though, getting caught on the door and getting flung. I'm I'm not even waiting for it to hit the water. I'm just gonna leave the game and let it reset to the last point, even if it's an hour back. I ain't doing that. <laughs> no. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, mate. Especially when they get the, the gargantuan leviathan mod. There was this one clip that's circling about that had um, the Gargantuan Leviathan mod, and the guy got flung into the void, and you just see a giant leviathan just sitting in the water. Like, hey. <laughs> I, I, see, I see you come here. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I literally, if I had that mod downloaded and it did that, literally, I would not wait to hit the ground. I would just leave the game. No, no offense, but I ain't dealing with that. No, 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 no. Fears are realized. Like, no. There, there ain't, there ain't no way, no way I'm letting that eat me. <laughs> the only thing about the Gargantuan Leviathan mod, though, is that besides the one in the void, there's one at the front of the Aurora. So, every time you go to the Aurora, it's basically gambling with your life. Like, is it gonna show up? Oh god, no. I will only explore the mountains if I can't find any parts for the uh, engine. Dude, okay, I'll give them I'll give them credit for the base thing. That's awesome. Doesn't mean I do it. It's awesome though. Dude, I'd do that, I'd be scared shitless. Literally, I think if I built a base at the like before or something. What? What you mean, check the mountains? I mean, I- I have one engine part. I will only go there if I am forced to. Honestly. As much as that might be dumb, I don't care. <laughs> 
I can grab the Cyclops um, engine parts if I'm lucky from the uh, float underwater floating island. It works a good amount of time, but then there's some parts it says are there, but the thing I've learned is I don't trust any of the parts that show up. It'll say like, oh, there's a part here. It doesn't mean it always spawns there in every playthrough. Also, I'm just gonna, there's no place I can place this bed. I'm gonna place it in the dumbest spot, which is right here. Yeah, no, I specifically um, went to the- I followed some of the engine parts. Yeah, I followed the engine parts to the sparse reef behind the aurora. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self-scan is advised. I'm that far already? Infection complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Welcome All right. Captain. Ow! Gotta hit the floor. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be doing. I have everything for a scanner room, and a little bit of stuff for power. So my plan, really ghetto plan, to avoid the aurora, to avoid the mountains, is go to the underwater floating islands. Uh, I've done like five different streams already. I've been playing this for, I think, seven hours on this save. Why is it smoking? Yeah, some- the only annoying thing- point of this game, though, is once it starts getting pricey of materials. <laughs> If I played this for an hour and a half, I'd be I'd be betting for some people against the speedrun world record. That I'd be like on a leaderboard or something. That I'd be impressed with myself. Okay. Here we are. This is what I want. I'm at this, this. So if I go this way, where, where's the island? My right. <laughs> I, I have couch knowledge. That's what I like to call it, couch knowledge. Basically, I've watched Subnautica since it came out. I watched I watched the game, like since it came out. I've watched a lot of playthroughs, even though I've d played the full game myself before. This is my second playthrough, so well, full playthrough. <laughs> I planned only one. <laughs> I planned to only do one playthrough, but. Ah! <laughs> oh, you little bitch! <laughs> Bone shark. Warning. 
Lovely. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Yeah, I know. Say hi to Bone Shark. They're assholes. If a bone shark comes swimming at- Oh! You wanna eat this? Okay. Fuck you. Where'd it go? Fuck you! Stupid. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. I ain't- They're gonna respawn. That's the thing. Now, as much as I like doing this, I need my stasis rifle. I'm gonna be mean. Because the thing exploring the underwater islands is there's so many bone sharks. It's, a, it's just annoying. So... Literally, what I'll do is I'll just take a stasis rifle, freeze them all, then kill them all, and wait for more to respawn, and just keep going. Until they all die. I just gotta go get my stasis rifle. And my propulsion cannon, because I forgot it. And I wonder if my poor, um, science project is still around here. Uh, as I could. I'd rather, I, dumb thing I'd rather do, get a prawn suit, grab the grapple arm, grapple arm to the reaper's face, and drill it. And then you can just basically have a rodeo ride of the reaper. <laughs> it's another level of thought, but it's also really fun because the Reaper will try to attack you. <laughs> Her poo yeah, basically. There's also another funny Welcome thing about that is that um, they'll try to attack you, but they can't. So you can litter. So the Reaper will tr try and swim around, and you can literally drag it into the safe shallows if you wanted. Which is terrifying. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome though! As much as... I sound like a maniac. That's awesome. That that just seems like something I do. someone was on that ship who had motion sickness, and they were like, oh, I'll be fine with this game. Like, it's already going pretty good. Whee! And they're just going around in circles. Okay, let my seam off charge, but before that, where's my... Where's my gun? Need both my guns. Oh, Jesus. Y 
use it as like a slingshot. <laughs> That's all I can imagine though. Basically using the Megalodon as a slingshot across the map. All systems online. I just realized something. I could make my life way more easier. Instead of, um... Hmm. I could avoid, um... It's way brighter in the floating islands when it's daytime. So... What if I just made a bed? I can avoid the trouble of it dealing with nighttime and having pitch black. <laughs> Subnautic Subnautica is a fun game, even if it's terrible. Ow. If, okay, here's, here's a tip for you. If you don't want to swim for the floating island that has the Degasi habitat, just go to the gun and go in the, in the mountain and just take the portal. Voids all that trouble swimming that way. Stabilizing. <laughs> what the um the um crab cave? <laughs> Just oh god. Go to the red grass! Literally, just go to the red grass and just follow along the red grass. Red grass on the surface has a lot of quartz. Is the sand- is the bone shark I killed still here? No, it respawned. Systems online. There we go. Ask the scanner room at the underwater floating islands. Done. Because I'm too lazy to search by hand for these fragments. Stretch. Okay. Now I can just make scanner room upgrade, scanner room upgrade, and scanner room upgrade. Because I already have the HUD chip. And just be lazy. How far does this go? Okay. Oh my god, it actually went to the mountain. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Sheesh. Okay. Let's see here. Data data box. Prawn suit fragment. Why is that different than fragment? 
Why is that? Why is that different than fragment? Just label it as fragment. Why does it just say prawn suit? That makes no sense. Okay. At least with this, we can literally cheat and just grab all the fragments without Welcome having to search too long. Let's go. Hopefully the search doesn't take long. But knowing this game, it probably is going to take a while. Because... The game hates me. Can I make a, um... We need gold. We need gold for that. Joy. Okay. This is terrifying. Okay. Ugh, what the... Mm. What is near me? What? Oh, you kidding me? Bone shark! Buzz off! So many bone sharks. Why is this always an issue? Can I just not look through this area peacefully? Sandstone chunk. Once it starts getting to another half of that, I'm gonna be heading back to base. Which means we're just gonna go straight down. Don't dig straight down because you could fall into lava. Oh my god, there's so many bone sharks. You know what? Die! Yeah, you better run! Die, you little shit. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Repair, 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 repair. Repair the sea mob really quickly because it's at 20. Erosion patterns on the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. No shit. They're floater islands. Is it gonna. I'm gonna- if you're gonna attack me, I'm gonna kill you! <gasps> Die! You know what? Die, you little shit. 
That's where my seam off. <laughs> yeah, you need a radiation suit. Oh my god, god send. They're actually spawning here, this one. Cyclops engine part. Woo! Okay, that's one- we need one more. One more, one more. Come on, game. Are you kidding me? We're gonna be doing this. Okay, we're gonna be doing this. <gasps> what the- No. Team off? Are you okay? Where's where are they? Jesus. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> this is what's happening. Leave me alone, bone shark. Fire. Oh, I missed. Fire. Die. Where's my sea moth? Here's my seam off. Are you okay? The thing about going down here and doing this is that literally bone sharks will come out of nowhere just to nip at your seam off and be a dick. <gasps> oh, thank you, game. Thank you, game. I don't. I don't have to go to the mountains. I don't have to go to the aurora. I just got my cyclops. Oh, thank God. Thank the Archons, I don't have to do that. Oh, what do why do I hear more bone sharp? spawn here the um, engine fragments the problem with one of my last saves that I got this far with none spawned not even at any of the wrecks that had them confirmed they just never spawned which sucked so I basically got scammed out of a cyclops that thing so I had to this is the save after that You're up. Come up. I'm probably what I'm going to do. I got the Cyclops. I'll be back to the underwater island soon. I'm running low in water. Yep, there was. I'm running low in water. I'm gonna go get more water, and I'm gonna get my extra um. What is it? I'm gonna get my extra air tank. And with both of those, I can fully explore the wreck down there. Without having to worry probably about drowning too much. Because if I get too low, Welcome aboard, Captain. I can just put on the other air tank. Yeah, no, I can see that. I have it on survival just so I can get um, the PS4 trophies.
Yeah, good tip though if you're exploring wrecks, especially if it's like more than 200 meters down. Have an extra air tank in your inventory. So if you run out of air, if you're like at 30 and you can't make it to your seam off, if that air tank is full, you can just switch it out. And you'll get your full oxygen back and you have enough chance to make it. But just remember to refill it again once you get into your seam off. Saved my ass. Yeah, you can. You can carry another air tank full of air. And then if you run out, you're close to running out, you can just switch. Yeah, what I like to do is I like to um, get those um, really big air tanks that have like the 200 oxygen and just have two of them. And then just switch in between. Going back to base known as Bloombus. I'm not that good with names. Uh, watch the volcano. Oops, sorry, peeper. Welcome aboard, Captain. I forgot. Oh, Jesus. Probably because you laid on it wrong, maybe? Immediately. Yes, I know, I know, PDA. I'm exploring this wreck is because I want the alien containment unit because it's the easiest one to get. Vital signs stabilizing. What else do I need? I have that, I have that, I have the right second air tank. I should make the, um, upgrade station. Modification. Computer chip. Computer chip? Where, do I have a computer chip? There, there was a, this is, this is a funny story. There was a guy that I had in my playthrough, um, I think he submitted a time capsule, and he submitted, I think, every single um, Cyclops upgrade imaginable. Every single one. In his mind, this would give you, like, full um, control. Like, hell, you just got every single Cyclops upgrade. That's amazing. You don't have to do it. The thing is, is that the game doesn't allow you to put in useful and game-breaking stuff in the time capsule. So what he thought was time game-breaking and having like a Mark III Cyclops upgrade turn into just the sonar scanner. Only the sonar scanner upgrade. It was so sad. I felt so bad for the dude. Because I don't think he even realized what he did. Yep, my my um, time capsule never got sent out sent out for some reason, so this is why I'm doing this again. But I think the one I did was I put in a cuttlefish egg, some and like decorative items, like another keep calm kitty poster. Oh, 
Oh damn. Yeah, I've had some of those before, but once you don't once you already have the stuff and you find the time capsule. The thing is, once you already have like the time capsule, it's like all your stuff. It's kind of useless. No. I just there's the one thing I don't get with time capsules though. Like res I will get resources. If you put in like platinum ink like like titanium ingots and stuff, like that is amazing. You are a godsend. But if you're like submitting um like items, like I can get a stasis rifle and a propulsion cannon, but a sea glide and a habitat builder I don't get besides it's just a free battery. I just don't get it. Because probably when someone finds that time capsule, they're already going to be far enough in the game. Ultra high. Oh, look at that oxygen! 225. Yeah, it all worked out. I had I had like three of those, um like I have three of those time capsules who gave the weapons in a late game area. So it was just like, my inventory is now full. What do you want me to do with this? I kind of feel bad for dropping it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Like, there was a guy who gave me Marble Melon when I didn't have an indoor um, grow platform. So I still have the Marble Bel Melon now that I need to place. I didn't- I didn't eat the marble melon seed. I would've felt bad. I would've felt really bad if I ate it. It's a marble melon seed and the guy put it in a time capsule. I'm not that heartless. I'm gonna eat something straight out of the time capsule. I'd rather place it and then let it grow, and it actually is useful. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, I can see that though. But. There was, um, oh, I think, oh shit, I found a wreck. This is an unintentional wreck find. That probably has sea glide fragments and shit in it that I don't need. There was, um, this one picture I got in the, uh, PDA time capsule earlier today. I had a full-blown picture of a reaper flying at them, and their response was like, Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Help me. And I'm just like, poor dude. Okay. I got... Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, look. I had a wonderful time exploring. <laughs> Here's a full picture of just a reaper. Yeah, no, if you've taken a screenshot in your Subnautica playthrough, even at any point you can submit it. The one I'm probably going to submit is the, uh, is the um, sunbeam being blown up. Just because it's funny.
Oh, you're kidding me. Why do I feel like you're just asking for people to, um, go die? Yep. I was about to say, why do I have the feeling you're just asking people to go get themselves killed? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. It's for lore. It's to ruin someone's playthrough, that's what it is. They're gonna be traumatized. Oh, are they bullying Plutus? Sand sh phone sharks, don't bully Plutus. Oh yeah, happy Easter. <laughs> I forgot it was Easter. New blueprint acquired. I I didn't ha I didn't I didn't get any. I didn't get any candy for Easter. I got I got Pokemon cards. That is my Easter present. Oh, come. On. I heard that. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't. It was all commons. Is it bad to say I know, um, like, what is common and what isn't and, like, all that? I can read what rarity things are. It's, it's super dumb that I know that. I keep hearing bone charts and I keep thinking they're gonna go eat my sea moth. Brother got me Pokemon cards, but I would have liked Peeps, if you know, like the chocolate, um, the marshmallows covered in sugar. But they had, um, they had just basically, um, wait, there's prawn suit fragments here. good actually oh they're not a thing in Australia they're an American thing then it's basically just a marshmallow covered in a thin layer of colored sugar Did you know that um, they actually act really weird in the microwave and will actually move and start inflating? And some people have used that to like put like toothpicks in them and put them like in front of each other to make it look like they're sword fighting. That's such a weird statement I just said. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, it's a very weird statement I just said, but. PRAWN safety instructions appendix A14. Don't climb on or get off equipment while it's moving.
I, I like how the PDA for like the prawn suit once you get it says basically like don't don't let the power get to your head. And you're looking at some people who take that prawn suit instantly go after a reaper and try and kill it. Sea moth better. No, no, sea moth better. I prefer the sea moth. If okay, okay. Here, here's my question. If it was, um, if you could literally have a choice on being able to put, let's say, the sea the seam off at the same depth as the prawn suit, would you do it? Cause I if if I could literally take the seam off and put it at the same depth as the cyclop as the um prawn suit, I'd definitely do it. Hundred percent. Saving me some time. is this? I'm trying to remember. There's a, um, door that's hidden in here. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. There's a propulsion cannon only area in this wreck that I, like, that I need to get to. I just, I'm running, I'm I'm half on oxygen, but I rather have full when I do this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh my god, Subnautica so 3 being multiplayer, that'd be awesome. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go quickly, quickly, quickly. Move the door. Come on. Heavy. No. No. Propulsion cannon. New blueprint acquired. Propulsion cannon, alien containment unit. So many propulsion cannon. So many propulsion cannon things in here. Okay, I think I flo fully explored this rack at least. We. Oh. That is that is a hilarious statement though. Subnautica so 3 get hit got hit by sea truck coon and is now turned into a pea. That is just a weird statement. But a fucking hilarious one. Ooh! You wanna know something cool? Did you know that at the um, underwater floating islands you can see a ghost leviathan? <laughs> I just said I just said a really bad statement. There's a ghost leviathan here. No, no, actually. It's really high up. It's quite funny, actually, because if you went to the edge of this, um, floating island. The floating island right over there is actually connected to the blood kelp. 
So you can just literally turn that way and check it. It doesn't, um, here's the thing though. The, um, there's only one ghost leviathan in the, both the blood kelps. There's two separate blood kelps, I think. And only one of them has a ghost leviathan. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's on the edge of the blood kelp. Literally, if you went to the edge, if I went to the edge of the um, underwater island and I did a sonar, I could actually see it. I, I accidentally did that on my last playthrough. Suffice to say, pant, like, nope, 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 other direction as quickly as possible. mostly half but I'm petting into the uh, mushroom uh, forest I think it's the um, jelly rays I don't know jelly rays make a really weird noise Okay, just refill the ultra high capacity tank. There we go. Right now I'm at the mushroom forest because I want to go in to the uh, blood kelp near here. Because it's, it's, I know right at that edge, there's a warper right there, yeah, but it's right there for a blood oil. So I can just grab it and get the fuck out. Also, I just realized, isn't there a cuttlefish here? Oh god! I'm okay. I'm okay. Huh. Maybe I'm just being dumb then. Who knows? Oh yeah, that's, that'd be great. Cuttlefish! True. Right now, I'm just waiting for it to become daytime, because I literally can't see. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh, I just realized I still had those pictures of the sun me blowing up. Why not just wait until you get the um, sea moth? Why don't I play this? Something list? incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So. I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. <laughs> I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I could have it but Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Seek fluid intake. I know, I'm fucking- I want the blood oil, that's a thing. And then I don't have to come back. But there's fucking things everywhere. Look, if it comes close to me, I'm shooting it. I think I'm in the small one, I don't know. I'm right- Okay, if you want to know exactly where I'm in, I'm at the um, mushroom forest, right next to the island. The- specifically the gun island. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, it's the- It's the highest one up. Well, I got the blood oil. Oh yeah, isn't that isn't the small one next to the um, grassy plateau? Yep, I know which one you're talking about. I think if I recall correctly, that one actually drops into the um, Lost River. It's one of the entrances, actually, if I recall correctly. Hey, at least my not. At least I remember that. <laughs> I don't. I never really normally use that entrance. Is there not? Huh. Odd. No chances unless someone else got you there. Seek fluid and take immediately. What do you mean crab squids? I never there aren't any crab squids in the Lost River. You mean the ghost leviathan? Let 
mean, I know there's two um, Ghost Leviathans in the Lost River. Mm hmm. Yeah. Especially one of the. Um... Are you talking about the Degasi Habitat one entrance? So that's the one you're talking about. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Oh, the blood kelp trench one. Dude, the, the gossy one is worse. That one has warpers and shit. If I recall correctly. It, there's a hole. The problem with the um, the Gossi one is that you're when you leave and you're going in, you're basically skirting with death or on those Leviathan. <laughs> huh, that's interesting. Yeah, no, that that seemed kind of obvious. So it's basically choose your poison. Do you want crab squids? Do you want warpers? Or do you want literally everything in, in between? Or literally, do you want crab squids? Do you want warpers? Or do you want the chance of a ghost leviathan? I'm going for the Nagasi one. At least I've been I've been there, so I trust it. salvage. Why am I getting magnetite on my radar? What? That's interesting. Normally what I like to do with um, my save is to just go into the Degasi, put on silent, and just slowly go around them. You might um, run over a few crap squid, but... Weird statement, you might run over a few crab squid along the way, but... You're pretty safe. By that. Oh God. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, no, whichever entrance is, is already dealing with stuff, it's just whatever you prefer. game without even interacting with one crab squid, though. You're gonna have to run into one at some point. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Also, can I say? <laughs> also, can I say once I once I start getting all this metal salvage and start working towards um, getting the Aurora, I'm gonna hate going there because I know for a fact there's reapers in front of that Aurora, and I don't like it. I actually forgot this. I actually forgot to this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. avoid them as much as possible. <laughs> if you're afraid of crab squids, I'm afraid of reapers. As as funny as mine is. I I just hate them with a burning passion. The thing was that I think it's um, the, um, I think I got traumatized by the Reapers because I, um, what happened was at the end of my, um, Red Kelp, my, the, um, Red Grass, I was grabbing ore and I looked up and there was a Reaper sh running straight at me and basically I was just like, <gasps> and I didn't even know there were any there. And I had to look at the um, interactive map and be like, huh, they do spot there. I don't like that. Why are these, why are these stalker teeth in a cave? Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Thanks, PDA. Those those stalker teeth are under the map. If you can hear a griefer Leviathan, it can see you. But yeah, no, thank the developers to not make the Ghost Leviathans overly aggressive. Just think it honing in on you, like, a million miles away. Oh god. It's just a terrifying thing about the, um, 
Reaper Leviathan, it's confirmed in game, no matter like how far away it is, or how long ago you could hear it, if you can hear it, it can see you. I love how the PDA congratulates you on being a dumbass by scanning a Reaper Leviathan. You know, that's stupid. Yeah, I can see that. You know, I'm I'm feeling really annoyed about right now. Uh these stalker teeth. They're in the they're in the map. There's no cave. They're under the map. Yep, yeah, no, you can see it on the um, scanner. Nope. You can literally look at the scanning room. I, I just wanted soccer teeth. There's no cave there. They're, they're just sitting there. Thanks, game. Okay, here's my thought. What if I raised a stalker, made a peep, like a peeper tank for said stalker to get stalker to that cave? Have a good night, or morning, whatever it is.
Okay, no, there's a way to get down there. Okay. Okay. fluid intake.
seek fluid intake immediately. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased.
Welcome aboard, Captain. if I place it. I want it to connect from the moon pool.
Aquariums provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. Nautica for me. I have been on here long enough today. Hope you all have a good night and I will see you all another time. So